Even if you own the whole world, it doesn't guarantee you happiness or well-being. In today's stress-filled society, rife with contradictions and conflicts, how to relax body and mind, to be free of distress, and to enjoy a life of well-being, happiness, and freedom is the thing most people are seeking. Chan, which has its roots in dhyana in Sanskrit, later developed to its fullest in China. A dharma heir to both the Linji and Saodong lineages, Master Sheng Yan began sharing Chan Buddhist teachings from the 1970s. By upholding the essentials in the Chan tradition, while integrating the strengths of various Buddhist schools, he created the Dharma Drum lineage of Chan Buddhism to inherit the past and inspire the future. As Master Hui Nun, the sixth patriarch of the Chan school taught, in our life, in our daily existence, we should be clearly aware of all happenings around us. We may be like any other ordinary person, but what makes the difference is to be free of emotional upheavals, free from turbulence of afflicted and troubled minds, while possessing clarity. So, what is this state of mind called? It is referred to as Chan. So, what is Chan? As a way of life, Chan is about oneness, non-duality of concentration and wisdom, identical with each other in nature. This is the character of Chan Buddhism. Oneness of concentration and wisdom means when our body-mind is calm and settled, we will naturally generate wisdom. And by developing our wisdom, we will attain a calm body and mind. Forty years on, Master Sheng Yan established a comprehensive system for Chan teaching, starting from beginner's meditation classes, sitting meditation group practice, to advanced level 7, 14, and 49-day Chan practice retreats. With simple, accessible, and correct methods to guide the practice of harmonizing the body, breath, and mind. By starting with body and mind relaxation and mindful breathing, one is able to gradually put down wandering thoughts, let go of attachments, focusing on the present moment of being. The concept of Chan practice at Dharma Drum Mountain is to help people first understand themselves, affirm themselves, and develop themselves, thereby realizing that there is actually no self to be found. In that way, we can let go of our attachments and so dissolve ourself. Chan practice not only helps us attain balance in the body and mind, create a stable psychological state, but also develop insight and compassion. When we know how to use the right methods to reduce our afflictions, we are already increasing in wisdom. To be able to cause less trouble for others, is to increase in compassion for ourselves. The Chan practice taught at Dharma Drum Mountain not only helps people with their personal awakening, it also features methods of Buddhist cultivation of no self for the benefit of the self and others. As modern people tend to live a hectic, hurried and fast-paced life, Master Sheng Yan especially infused the core spirit of Chan into the Protecting the Spiritual Environment movement to accommodate to the needs of today's society, enabling everyone to practice Chan in daily life in an easy and natural way. More than a mere concept, protecting the spiritual environment also represents an expedient means that reminds us to start with purifying the mind, attending to our minds by remaining calm and stable under any circumstances. This is the meaning of protecting the spiritual environment. For busy modern people, to protect our spiritual environment at all times 
is to practice Chan in daily life, helping ourselves settle our body and mind, remain unaffected by external situations, and truly enjoy a life of well-being, happiness, and freedom.